It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Strug Free Cocktails. Where I've already struggled, so you don't have to. Today, we are going to be talking about the aviation cocktail. It's a pre-prohibition pre cocktail. It's pre-prohibition. This drink came around actually when flight was first being like a thing and the Wright brothers were like, we're flying. And I was trying to think of like a Strug story that related to this drink and it's a little bit of a reach, but this is what I got for you. Once upon a time, in the pre-prohibition era, when I was a mere little server, I was doing wine service for a table and I was a little bit nervous about doing wine service. I presented the wine bottle to the guest, who was this man who had a little bit of a belly happening. I showed him the wine bottle, it flew out of my hand, bounced onto his belly, bounced back into my hand like a boomerang, and it was the most awkward moment of my life. My face turned, it was just like the worst. But the aviation gets its name for a slightly different reason, not wine bottles flying everywhere. In the aviation, we're gonna have gin, creme de violette, maraschino liqueur, fresh squeezed lemon juice. It gets its name from one of its core ingredients, which is creme de violette. Creme de violette is a French liqueur, which is basically a violet liqueur, it tastes sort of like bath soap, but I mean, flowers are in bath soap. Let's take flight. Two ounces of gin. I'm using aviation gin. It is very botanical. It's not super dry like a London dry gin. So it plays off of the cherry, the violette, the lemon juice really well. Three quarters of an ounce of Luxardo, which is a maraschino liqueur from Italy. And then equal parts of maraschino to lemon juice. I think that's pretty important. So three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. And then you've gotta be careful with the violette. If there's too much, you're not gonna have that light pastel color. You're gonna have like straight up purple. You don't want it to be perp-a-derp. <laughs> I love saying perp derp but like no one thinks it's funny except for me. So like a bar spoon of it, okay. And this is also served up and FYI, Get your livers ready, ladies and gents, because this is a boozy one. This is what your aviation should look like. It's a pastel color, a little purpley, a little blue. I'm loving it. And I'm gonna garnish with a little lemon twist. You can also use um, a cherry if you have one on hand, but I'm on a fudge. And remember what I said about garnishes. You wanna echo ingredients in the drink. So we got lemon juice, we got a lemon twist. Let's taste this. Perf, the, I, don't, I don't know why, but the best way to describe what this tastes like is Easter. It's awesome, it's so good. It's just like a little bit fruity, botanical, tart, love it. So what are you waiting for? Have a drug free day. Go make yourself a cocktail. Hey guys, thank you for watching. Click on the link below to get to eastdrugs.com and it'll take you to the full recipe. And also, please subscribe, because that's, that's what I need. I need you to subscribe. Okay, bye.